to this short tutorial as how to properly execute the froggy exercise on the mat. The froggy is an amazing exercise to develop core strength and flexibility, as well as coordination. So, without any further ado, let's get started. There is an exercise in the reform called frog, and well, you can do it on the mat too, obviously, but um, it's a, it needs a lot of focus in order to make sure. On the reformer, it tells on you when you're doing it wrong. On the mat, you just need to really focus and make sure you're doing it right, so you're not moving your pelvis or popping your ribs here. But anyways, extending the leg up, you're gonna turn the toes out and zip that inner thigh together. And from here, you're just gonna bend the knee, bringing heels towards your hip and reach it back up. And again, inhale. See, so you flex the foot when you bring it in, and then you bring it up. Two. Flex the foot, you bring it and point up. Three, and again. And four. Good. Now we're gonna move to the second part of the froggy, like we would do on the reformer. So you bring it in, and then we're just gonna extend out. Some of you are not gonna have that flexibility, then just don't extend out the way on this one. Many times I tell you, make sure you extend right away, but you don't wanna push when you're not ready on this one. And there isn't a very good way to um, extend and still be fine with your pelvis because it's laterally rotated. So the best way is if you cannot extend it right away, you just go as far as you can. Okay, so one more. Good. Now, because I would, if you, uh, the only way for you to really extend would be lowering the leg, but that can make you arch, and you don't want to do that. But now that you're here, let's say if you cannot extend, you just keep it closed a little more higher. So from here, guys, I want you to pay attention because then becomes a little more advanced. Do not arch as you bring your heels together towards the front like this, uh, and then back and point, okay? So front to an angle and point. Now watch, you don't want the distance between your hips and ribs to change at all when you're closing the legs or not either when you're opening. Okay, so last one here, uh, and up. Nice, so this is the third part of the movement. So the fourth one of the froggy is when you bring in here, you should just bring the leg up again. So that's just very similar with the double leg stretch. So let's do four like this, four, and three. Oh, it's a tough exercise. And two, and one. Oh yes. So if you notice, I had broken down this exercise. Okay, and now we're gonna try to do it the entire thing up together, focusing on all those um, details I told you um, four times. All right, here we go. So we're gonna bend, stretch out, bringing front with the arch in the back and bringing back up. One, again, bend, extend out. Bringing front and up, two, bend, extend it out, bringing front and back up, three, and again, and extend out, and bringing front and up, four, well done. And this is the end of our session today. Looking forward to see you tomorrow. Don't miss it. Bye.